थ्री टू वन I I started attempting a lot more mocks compared to what I used to do before. So initially, I used to attempt mocks once or twice in a week. But in the last month, I started attempting mocks on alternate days or at least on two days. And what helped it helped me is that I got accustomed to the uh, simulation of like what actually is going to happen on the exam day. And this way, I was able to structure better on which questions I should focus on. When it guy came to my rational strategy, it was very simple: do not experiment. Whatever I was doing, I was trying to hone those strategies as best as I can. When it came to one tenth in RDI, I wasn't trying to uh, perform new ways to solve the questions. The ways I know, I was trying to perf- uh, perfect them, and at the same time, uh, do them as fast as I could. That was the best last minute strategy I could have utilized, and that's what I did. So my last uh, month's CAT uh, preparation strategy was essentially to focus on mocks. I would make sure that I give at least one mock a day. and i had taken up two mocks which were aimcat and simcat so uh, one of the days i would give aimcat and the other simcat and i focused heavily on um, uh, analyzing the mocks i would uh, analyze my pain points my shortcomings and would work on it and then give my mock again so in the last leg of the preparation two of the main important factors will be first of all revising and then pra- keep practicing whatever you have been practicing with respect to revising making sure that we revise the foundation topic that we have done and at the same time revising the mistakes that we have done so as to not to repeat those mistakes in the exam with respect to keep practicing for example in qa whatever topic we feel like that we have a little loop or in or we have less practice um keep revising different set sort of questions so as to build your confidence into that particular topic would be the key uh, there was a last month of my preparation i mostly focused on the concepts that i know and i didn't go for new concepts because that like a uh, create confusion in my mind uh, apart from that i worked on the previous year questions and the mock questions so that i can get the grasp of the questions that may be coming in the exam and i get into the feel of it so the last month strategy for me during cat preparation was to do six mocks in two weeks so three mocks per week and it was about analyzing these mocks and by that time i have whatever mocks about 20 or 25 or 30 mocks i had done it was about noting the tough questions behind it and just practicing it every day while for pont it was about making sure you have each and every notes uh, revised thoroughly before that and don't do anything in the last week before cat so for a major part of my preparation i made sure that i give a lot of sectional mocks of qa um i had um, completed my a basic uh, qa preparation by the end of september so after that i gave a lot of sectional mocks and when i was confident enough that i could uh, maybe sit for the mocks i started giving mocks out but if i would see that probably i'm not good at permutations i would then halt my mocks and would start giving a sectional um, section mocks again for qa i used to attempt a lot of mocks but uh, apart from mocks what i do did extra was that After every mock, I used to analyze like which areas was uh, I was feeling difficulty. I used to take those topic differently. For example, I was weak in geometry, so I started attempting a lot of sectionals in that uh, particular section. And then I attempted another mock, and I used to analyze like how was it, like was it better, and how much I have improved from that. This way, I converted all those weaknesses into the strengths. So the mock versus practice, uh, the main confusion the guys face is to. first complete all the course and then start mocks i would suggest to never do that uh, start giving mocks uh, one per week would be fine from the start if you are preparing 6 months or 4 5 months back and this start analyzing it will practice should be done routinely where every in two day interval in two day cycle you can shift it between ba dil or dil or quant or qa ba and for quant it is just making sure you revise the th- all the notes thoroughly and uh, have make sure all the portion that you were not able to solve in the mocks you have the note of it so you can refer it in cross section what you are good at and in part of per topic what would you have to do or not do when it comes to the mocks and the practice and managing the balance between those my ideas were pretty simple mock on saturday analysis on sunday and uh, practice one hour each day minimum for on the rest of the weeks that was the major thing i do with mocks and practice and which helped me to go uh, manage all things due to going back 
Sam Dick, uh, maintaining sanity and calmness is the key. Making sure that we're not getting stressed is what makes it worthwhile. Um, at the same time, I devised a strategy based upon my previous mock experiences. Understanding that finding easy questions in the very first round go is important and then eventually move into a question which, you, which will take time but can be doable. And not touching difficult questions at all will make it to the end. When it comes to the D-Day strategy, that is something which I took it as a challenge or as a fight, a very late breakfast and do not think of it as some a mountain. Do not think of anything what is going to happen. Just enter and think of one thing, I have to kill it, that's it. Think of nothing else and that's the best thing I would have done to, uh, to not stress myself that. Uh, during the D-Day, you should focus more on iterations. In the first iteration, go for the easier questions then the medium, the medium difficulty questions and then if you have the time go for the hard ones because you have to manage the time and get the max out of the question paper and uh, at the end the calmness is your key to success so be calm during the exam and solve the questions as much as you can. I wanted to remain calm and composed because I knew it was the most important things while you're giving up your giving giving your exam so for that I uh, my my time slot was uh, right early in the morning. So before sleeping, I gave one mock and I made sure that uh, I wake up early and then I'll analyze the mock and then go and give my actual exam. So one thing that I could try uh, doing differently and especially in the QA section would be to increase the mental aptitude in solving basic file creation. So for uh, in basic preparation of CAD also, you are subjected to doing basic sums and multiplication practices and you build your way in getting very strong at it very fast. And uh, in that level, I believe that if I had practiced more, it would have helped me a lot more in solving the questions in a timely manner. So I believe that would be one thing. That's okay. So if I get the another chance to take this exam, I would go for more calm approach because during the previous attempt, I lost the calmness and I I was not able to solve one or two more problems that could be easily done. So if I get the chance to give the exam this year, I would have done it differently and focused on calmness and iterations more uh, than the previous step. So if I was given another chance, I would have of course attempted a lot of mocks and uh, pra practiced more questions. But uh, I would also, uh, you know, try to uh, delve into the unexplored sections. For, for example, for me, it was uh, a permutation and combination and uh, certain parts of algebra. So uh, this that way, you would be able to, uh, you know, get get that part also, uh, you know, familiar to yourself. And if the, on the D day, if you come up with, uh, you face those questions, you won't face difficulty. Given another chance, I do two things differently. First of all, focusing on making sure that the foundation of each topic is strong and not moving into the advanced part of the questions really early. At the same time, focusing on accuracy more than the time is the key in the initial phase of uh, preparation because time is something that, that one gets a knack of after a particular amount of practice but practicing questions and understanding the basics is the key. I believe understanding that this entire preparation is actually a phase and then it will pass over after a particular time and one mock exam if went wrong doesn't really define your preparation. So understanding and believing in yourself, believing in your preparation and at the same time managing stress. Now that can be done by walking, um, doing things what you love and at the same time spending time with your loved ones. So believe me, there will be a lot of stress before giving CAT and you would be uh, really not sure whether this would be the right time to give CAT or whether you are prepared for not. So for me, it was about giving other related tests before it. So I was adamant to giving NMAT before CAT one month before to get the idea if I am able to score in a test or competitive test or not. After that, it would have been just about getting good sleep. That was the difficult part for me in the one month before it. Uh, for and to getting the right kind of motivation you would have to first understand that it is not the end of the journey and there will be a lot to do after getting good marks in CAT also so it is half of the journey uh, so the best way to manage your stress would be uh, to give as many marks as possible 
so that the day you give your exam it will just be like another day of giving your mock um, and it won't be very daunting or intimidating to you and uh, what the motivation would just be to stay healthy talk to your friends and uh, just don't solely depend your life on it it is just another exam so when i used to feel stressed while attempting those questions i used to you know take a pause uh, take i used to take a deep breath and used to focus uh, make my mind clear like uh, focus on the uh, present thing that you were doing right now and uh, as a word of motivation i would uh, like just ask all the aspirants to think of, of the journey that you have come through so all those months of uh, practice and hard work that you have put in and you just don't want it to go waste on the last day so you just be cool and calm you will be doing all, all uh, your best you would be able to do your best on the d day that is not the end of your mba journey you have different exams too and then you have gdpi in which you can crack a good institute even though your cat score is not that much so focus on that and stay motivated for the next two years that you are going to spend in your uh, mba journey and uh, all the best for the exam the best thing for me to reduce the stress was exercise for me it was cycling and gym for you it can be anything else but it made me so tired that i could not even think about things making me stress and it was the best stress waster for me also improved my health Second thing, well, the motivation factor for me was doing something no one in my family has achieved. To get into a college no one in my family has reached. That was the biggest thing which motivated me to study for the uh, CAT exam and for MBI.